Hello everyone, this is a play to bang with my deck review and today I got a vintage deck that I got off Etsy. Uh, this is one of those decks that is on my uh, white whale list, which most collectors have. It's a list of decks that they hope to find one day. And I did, and it was, you know, pretty good deal, so I jumped on it. It's a vintage airplane spotted deck, and it says down the front, airplane spotted airplane bronze. It's got kind of the red, white, and blue colors, and stars, very patriotic. On the one side it says playing cards, the other side made in USA. Top says spotty cards, bottom same thing. And in the back it says for use of US government permit number one, August 23, 1943. Uh oh, <laughs> I got a government thing. Anyways, uh, there's no seal. I'll get into what this deck is all about in just a moment. Nothing on the flaps. I lost one already. Oops, there it is. <laughs> Whoopsies. This is the vintage deck that was produced for. World War II to help the U.S. military personnel identify planes. And uh, you got a card with information on that. And that can also be used for traditional games. With more information on the back. And it also encourages memorization. There is one Joker, only one, because I guess the other card is that card. And it says Joker in the corners and in this little symbol coat of arms in that middle and there's a date totally on the bottom which confirms it is from the 40s this i believe uh, according to what i found is a second edition of the deck and i think there was a couple other styles as well there was some that were just simple writer backs this one is not this one has a nice back design it's not a writer back it's simple it's got this american Eagle symbolism in the center, and I like it. There are also, I should mention, facsimiles of this deck, some that have been produced more recently by US Games, which is another way of getting the deck if you want to get it for a decent price and can't find a vintage version. So, why not? So, I'll show you the card, some of the cards here. The spades have US planes, like this one has a US bomber, flying fortress. The hearts have British planes, like this one, British Bomber, Beaufort. Um, clubs have Japanese planes, like this Japanese Flying Beast, known as Mavis. And diamonds have German planes, like this German Fighter Bomber. Also on some of the clubs is Italian planes, like this Italian Bomber. And and uh, it has basically that. Uh, diamonds have German planes, clubs have Japanese and Italian. That's the bad guys. And then hearts and spades have the US and British. And as you can see, it basically features a look right at the plane from the front, uh, a view top down, and a view from the side. So they can hopefully identify the planes and not shoot the wrong one. <laughs> Anyways. It's just a, it's a nice thing to have. Obviously, it's not something I'm going to use a whole lot because it's a vintage deck, and obviously, it's well as you can see, it doesn't handle so well. It is, for the record, a smooth thinnest, which is part of the reason why it's probably clumping more than it should be. But other than that, the cards are in very good condition. Uh, minor discoloration, but there, there's no tearing, there's no bending, no damage. So I think it's a good find, aside from tough cases a little bit beat up, but that's fairly typical. So that is that. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what you think. Check out my sponsors, collectible playingcards.com, playingcards.net, cardboom.com. Links, discount codes in the description box below. It's a win win situation. You win, I win, they win. So go check it out. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think.